This short video is designed for anyone using VVox or a feature of VVox for the first time. VVox is incredibly simple to use, and by the end of the video you will have a good understanding of how all the key features work, as well as where to find further information. If you'd like to skip to a specific part of the video, you can go to the timestamps on screen or find them in the description below. Accessing your account dashboard. Head to vvox.com, click Login, and enter your email and password. Once successfully logged in, you will see this screen. Create a new session. Vvox allows you to have an unlimited number of interactive sessions within your dashboard. This means you can prepare content in advance, refer back to old data, or even go back and reuse a previous session. To create a new session, give it a name and hit Create. It's as easy as that. Your new session will appear on your dashboard and the unique ID will be generated. This will be what you provide to your participants, along with instructions on how to access the VVox app. Participants can access the VVox web app through any browser or download from the app stores. By default, the sessions are set to Anonymous. We'll cover how to change that later in Settings. At the top of the screen, you can see the name of the session you're in, the ID to share with your participants. We can see the session set to the Waiting status. By clicking here, the status is set to Started, and your participants can begin contributing. If you want to run more than one meeting simultaneously, you will need to speak to us about a multi-user account. Connections shows the maximum participants your license will allow and how many are connected at that point in time. The features of VVox are controlled using the toolbar on the left. Now, you don't have to do things in this order, but for the purposes of this introduction, we're going to work through them from the top down. Live polling. As this is a brand new meeting, we don't have any polls yet. There's two ways to get started here. You can create polls yourself from scratch or simply import ready-to-use ones from our sample poll selection. Either way, it only takes a few seconds and it's worth noting that our ready-to-use questions can still be edited once imported, so often a good starting point to save time or generate some ideas. We'll start by creating one from scratch. Simply create a new poll. Select a response type. Depending on your subscription, you will see the question types that are available to you. We'll stick with a multiple choice question for this tutorial. Type your question. Add some responses and choose to highlight a correct answer if there is one. And hit Create. Hit Present and share this screen with your audience, whether online or in the room or both. The participant joining instructions and QR code are displayed on the left. Use the control panel at the bottom of the screen to launch your poll. Participants can then enter their responses. When you're ready, close the poll, allowing the results to appear on screen and on participants' devices. You can then move on to your next poll if you have more than one. For a more in-depth tutorial, you can find our live polling video on our YouTube channel. Q&A. Setting up and managing Q&A with VVox is really easy. In fact, it's switched on and ready to go as soon as your session is started. You can send announcements to the Q&A board. These are always differentiated by appearing on a black background, making them easier to identify. So in its simplest form, that's it. Participants can select the Q&A tab in the app and start submitting their questions and comments whenever they wish. All questions and comments appear on all participants' devices. As the host, you can sort these by most recent or most liked. Now, there may be situations where you would prefer more control. That's where the moderation feature comes in. This allows you to see the responses before they go out to participants, either through their devices or the present view. To enable this, there's a couple of helpful management features. If we turn moderation on, we can see there are four new tabs. They're quite self-explanatory, so we won't go into too much detail here. But now if someone asks a question, it will go straight into the Needs Review tab, and from there, you can move it into the Relevant tab. A nice tip here is that you can log into your dashboard simultaneously on more than one device, 
allowing you to hand responsibility to another person, to moderate from their laptop or tablet. It's as simple as that, engaging inclusive Q&A with no more awkward silences. For more tips and tricks, you can download our guide Q&A the VVox way on our website or in the description below. Surveys Surveys are similar to polls, but rather than being answered live, participants can answer them at their own pace, whether that be before, during or after the session. Let's take a look. Like polls, there are two simple ways of getting started. You can start from scratch or import a ready-to-use one based on the most commonly used survey types. Remember, once imported, all the questions can be edited to suit your needs, so often a helpful starting point. For this introduction, we'll start one from scratch. Create a new survey and give it a name. As we can see, there are some instructions here for our participants. We can edit it to suit our needs. These instructions will appear at the top of the survey when participants open it on their devices. OK, let's add some questions to our survey. From here, you can see that they are inputted exactly the same way as live polls. When you're ready, you can start the survey. Participants will see that it is now live in the VVox app. They can answer the questions all at once or finish answering them later, allowing them to respond at their own pace. While the survey is open, you can see the number of respondents. Once you feel you've got enough, or when the time is up, you can stop the survey, which will close it for everyone. You can reopen the survey at any time. We'll look at exporting survey results in the data section. Data. The data tab contains all your meeting results. Here you can see a quick summary of your meeting, showing participation rates throughout. You can download a data report, which will give you a detailed Excel report that contains all polling, survey and Q&A responses. You can also download the results as images. You can also clear all your data from here, which will remove all results. Please note, this can't be undone. Settings. The Settings tab contains some options for your meeting session. In the Schedule Meeting section, you can set a start and end time for your meeting. This is purely for your scheduling. You'll need to start and stop your meetings manually, which you can do at any time. Here you can change the image, title, subtitle, welcoming text and app theme. This is the image that will display in the info screen after your participants enter their session ID. We can simply change it by dropping in an image file like a JPEG or bitmap. Next, you can change the title, subtitle and add any text such as an agenda. To change the color scheme of the app, you can pick them yourself or paste in a hex value to suit your session's needs. These colors will also be reflected throughout the present view as well as the app. For more advice on color and image choices, please visit the Help Center, which you can find in the description below. You can choose whether participants will be anonymous or identified, meaning they will be guided to input their name when they enter the app. Please note, this setting cannot be changed once the meeting has started. If you're working on or running this meeting with other VVox users, you can grant access to them here, just input the email address that their VVox account is registered to and click Save. They will automatically receive an email confirming that they have been granted access. Common uses for this feature are to allow another party to moderate Q&A or to share results. PowerPoint Another way to present back to the audience is to use our integrated PowerPoint add-in. Once installed, polls, including word clouds, can be programmed and run through PowerPoint. Results are saved within your PowerPoint slides. The results are also saved into your dashboard. For more information on using the PowerPoint add-in, visit our YouTube channel and Help Center. Upgrading your account. To upgrade to a paid account to suit your needs, simply click here. Click on your desired account and pay by credit card, and your account will be upgraded instantly. If you'd like to discuss which plan is right for you, or would prefer to be invoiced, contact us using the details found in the description below. 
Congratulations! You've completed your tour of Vivox and are now ready to make your next class, meeting or conference unmissable. If you have further questions or would like to learn more, click here to access support resources or contact our friendly and expert team via email, phone or live chat.